Hey, it's Michael from Alaska. Hey, I just wanted to talk for a quick minute about a um, a video I had looked up. Um, now, these um, this video is talking about DHS ready to fight the American people. Now, the DHS, Department of Homeland Security, they're talking about how martial law is coming to America. Um, and because the economy collapsed and everything that, you know, what was interesting was that in that video he made a comment that I had um, thought of too. Obama's been very arrogant, which we know he's arrogant anyway, but he's being more arrogant about you know saying, "Hey, I support gay marriage." He, he's he's got you know, all these different bills that have been passed that's given him dictator kind of power, and um, he's doing all this stuff. He's doing he's running this. He's he's kind of been doing this election like there is no election. You know, he's been kind of moving forward with it like there is no election. And they made that comment in this video that um, it's almost as if you know Obama already knows that they're going to suspend the election. Well, of course they know they're going to suspend it because the economy is going to collapse, you guys. It's so imminent, uh, you know, the, the economy collapsing. You know, um, and there's even a prophetic vis uh, word, vision, or dream about it, about fuel prices going through the roof. Um, um, there's also uh, food going crazy. This is the Revelation 6 3, that seal there. Um, but it's interesting because they're like, of course, he's going to be brash and arrogant if he knows they're going to suspend the election. You know, because, you know, there's a lot of things he'd probably do differently if they weren't going to suspend it, you know, if you think about it. But they're making that comment. And um, there's also talking about how the government is beefing up a lot of um, weapons for martial law. And how they're also, um, you know, we got foreign, they got foreign troops coming in and everything. We bring this up because this just shows how um, close the new world order is to, you know, to rising. You know, um, Henry Kissinger said a few years back that Obama was primed to create the new world order. You know, and you know, I'm not going to sit here and debate whether or not he's the Antichrist. I believe he is. I think he's lined up very well to be the Antichrist, but. I'm just saying that the New World Order is right there, you guys. And with the New World Order being so close, I mean, see, the election is just a sideshow trying to keep people from paying attention to the martial law that's coming. But, you know, people are catching on to it. There was an article done in the Washington Post that I posted on Facebook about a Washington com uh, uh, columnist that said that Obama has martial law power now. Because one executive bill, I don't remember which one, it's not just the NDA bill, but there's another one. Uh, that was passed, but he's pretty much got all the power in his hands, you know, to, and people don't realize he suspends the election. You can't remove him on office when there, um, there's a state of martial law declared. So this election is really just a sideshow because Mitt Romney's just a sparring partner. He is, he is just Illuminati as much as Obama's Illuminati. It's, it's just, a, it's like two wrestlers wrestling. They act like they can't stand each other and they're probably drinking coffee together. So anyway, um, the name of that video, if you want to go look it up now, um, is DHS ready to fight the American people? Now, the thing about the video is um, these are probably post-tribbers because they don't believe in uh, uh, they're not talking about the catching away or anything. So, But it, I, I studied it out because, see, when you realize how close martial law is to the economy of collapse and all that, then you realize how close the coming of the Lord is, too, because Father, you know, the Lord's allowing this to happen. And Jesus said when they're eat, drink, and marry, one will be taken, one will be left. Now, um, that scripture is just screaming at us, you know. One, you know, whether eat, drink, and marry, as in the days of Noah, so become the Lord. If you eat, drink, and marry, it'd be business as usual, and all of a sudden, whammo, whole world flips, because, you know, and of course, the government will explain it away. It's probably an alien invasion or whatever. But anyway, you guys, just want to do a quick video about that. Um, you know, this, this, this thing is just really kicking into high gear, you know. They're... You know, they already, they, they, even in a video they said within probably two weeks after Greece's economy collapsed, America's economy will go under with it, is what they're predicting. So, but you know what, we can look up, because Jesus said when all these things begin to happen, look up our redemptive draw an eye. And he said, and Luke, you know, we escape all these things. So, we just need to stay ready, you guys. Um, just wanted to share that quick word. Hope you're having a blessed day. Keep looking up, because, you know, this... This economy is hanging on, it's hanging by a fingernail, you guys. All over, you know, all the world's economy is hanging by a fingernail. You know, that's why I'm not planning 
I ain't planning no summer. You know, this is what you know. It's it's almost like people trying to make plans on the Titanic. You know, can you imagine people on the Titanic thinking, hmm, what am I going to do this summer? Or what am I going to do this fall? Or what am I going to do next year? You're on the Titanic. You know, people on the Titanic are trying to figure out a way to get off the Titanic. You know, you would think, but you got people that are, you know, are on this Titanic that's going to sink and going to flip. You know, and become the new world order that Jesus will destroy over seven years. But people keep making plans on it because they just don't believe it till they see it. So... But, you know, Doubting Thomases will realize. But I love you guys. Hope you're having a blessed day. So I'll keep this video a little bit short. I love you. Uh, keep looking up. Stay ready. Stay ready 24-7. Any moment, any day, the Lord can flip this. You know, I'll keep doing it. The Lord can, the lights can go out. So love you guys. Have a blessed day.